Christmas is... Start putting your trees up. Get your Christmas mugs out. Each other warm while we stand and watch a choir performing all the Christmas songs that we love. Get all the Christmas songs that we love. And then why we're gonna go. X. Mm, these are X look a bit worse for wear. Hey ho. I just feel like going to Primark on an empty stomach is a recipe for disaster. We've got to fuel up. So let's get those eggs in. <laughs> Is that a spider's leg on my hob where I'm about to cook my eggs? Why is there a dead spider on my stove? I mean, that's not very appetising, is it? I had a shower with a spider this morning. If it would have just let me have a shower in peace, I would have just got out of the shower and then carried on with my day because I had to get ready for teaching anyway. So, like, I didn't really have time to be dealing with the spider. But this spider was, like, trying to make itself known, trying to beef itself up to me. It starts crawling down the wall and in a panic, I slap the spider with my conditioner bottle that I use for my hair. Thinking that, oh, okay, it's probably, like, you know gone r.i.p spider but it's it's alive and kicking the spider comes back starts crawling again and then i lose it amongst my hair conditioners and shampoos and shower gels because it hides somewhere in the crevices and then i'm just like oh well i had to go and teach anyway so i didn't have time and then i go back to use the toilet about an hour later and i find the spider again like in front of my face as if to say like na 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 na, na you didn't kill me and then I did deal with a spider, I put it in the toilet. And now I found a spider on my stove when I'm about to eat my eggs. I hope this spider is not one of its friends or one of its babies. I just feel like this was a sign from the spider telling me this isn't over yet, June. You may have got rid of me, but I know so many people in these streets. You just wait. Oh. <laughs> the first of november today guys i hope you all had a good halloween if you did anything for it i didn't actually do anything for halloween this year in the past i would usually go to some sort of halloween party and dress up the last couple of years i've just been a really boring adult and done absolutely nothing for halloween i mean i did watch strictly come dancing that's not really a halloween event is it <laughs> Halloween's great, but we all know what the main event of the year is. I don't want a life for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. I don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas tree. I just watch for my own. Make my wish come true I want for Christmas Yes Mariah Carey hand You Do 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 I don't a lot for Christmas I did a TikTok just talking about how it's Christmas and how we can all start. I don't know why I'm using this as a mic. <laughs> now we can all start singing Christmas songs. Um, oh, my eggs, are they burning? Yeah, they're okay. I put this on my story earlier, but did anyone see Mariah Carey's Queen of Christmas? Did anyone see her post on Instagram and TikTok? And obviously Mariah Carey is like all about Christmas. Can you imagine? Imagine Christmas at Mariah Carey's house. It would just be so much fun. It's Christmas now, guys. It's the 1st of November. Get your Christmas songs on. Start putting your trees up. Get your Christmas mugs out.
No, honestly though, by the time we do the next Primark come shop with me, I've just thought I'll have the Christmas tree up by then. How exciting, oh my gosh. It's Christmas, Santa Claus is coming to town, Santa, okay, my eggs are burning now, um, right. If you don't have ketchup on your eggs, you're doing it wrong because ketchup makes everything taste so good. Bon appétit. Good old egg on toast. Such a go-to, like, I'm always so lazy with lunches and stuff and I'm always like, oh, I don't know what to make, but I always need something quick, especially if I've got a lunch break in between teaching. I finished teaching early today, by the way. I had some cancellations. Hence why it's like 12 o'clock and I'm free. Well, it's not 12 o'clock, but it's about to turn one o'clock, but I'd usually be teaching now. So putting the extra couple of hours to great use, going to Primark. Okay, so what is the dilemma? Do you wanna? This is not just food. This is M&S Christmas food. Yeah, M&S Christmas bag for life is coming with me. Uh, I'm going to Aldi after I go to Primark. Got my umbrella because it is raining cats and dogs in England at the moment. Let's go to Primark. This coat, oh, I absolutely loved it. I think it's so gorgeous. Doesn't look like it's from Primark, does it? It looks like it's from Zara or somewhere like that. Really, really lovely quality. Very thick, very heavy. It just looks so stylish. Oh, I loved it. It was a little bit pricey. I think it was like £37, but oh, so nice. Honestly, I might go back for that. These are leggings, but they've got this thick fur lining inside, which I thought would be really nice for winter because they're going to be thick, keep you warm. Christmas jumpers. I did not expect to see so much Christmas stuff already, but I was very pleasantly surprised. I'm loving this gingerbread, gingerbread man uh, Christmas jumper. I think it's so cute with this outfit as well, with the boots and everything. Oh, seven pounds, go get your Christmas jumpers. And they had quite a bit of Grinch things in there as well. They had like this whole Grinch range set of pyjamas which were really nice. I really am into these gingerbread man pyjamas. I just think they're so adorable. Like what do they say on them? They say oh oh oh. <laughs> I think they're really really cute and they do them for all of the family as well so you know you can be matching with your loved ones as well which is so adorable. I can't wait to do that in the future. They also have these like bags for life, I guess. If you're doing a bit of Christmas shopping, you don't want to carry plastic bags, you can use these. Grinch, oh no, they're not Grinch. I was gonna say Grinch slippers, they're not, they're elf slippers. And they've got little bells on them so they ring as well at the same time so you can hear you coming when you're wearing them, nice slippers. 
Uh, this is like a, is it called an Udi or something, where it's just like really oversized, huge, kind of like a dressing gown and a hoodie, that kind of vibe. Really cosy, really soft, nice Minnie Mouse one as well. I love a bit of Minnie Mouse, so I think this would be a cute little Christmas gift or something. If you're someone who loves experiences, I'm one of those people, then you can maybe buy this for someone. You've got like a pet photo shoot. I think there were like a spa day or something like that, which is a really good idea for a gift. Oh, look at all of the pet stuff. <gasps> look at this handkerchief. Oh, for a dog or a cat or something. Oh, honestly, look at all of these Christmas outfits. Gingerbread man. Oh, Christmas tree. Santa. Stop it. Honestly, when I get a dog, my dog's going to hate me because <laughs> I'm just going to be doing photo shoots. Like, oh, I can't wait. They've got some nice hot chocolate sets here. Bailey's hot chocolate, mmm. Bailey's hot chocolate at the Christmas market. Oh, so good, isn't it? Oh my gosh, I can't wait to go to the Christmas markets, honestly. Like, ah, oh, mulled wine. Just give it all to me, please. Go outside, the snow is falling down, and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with the smile, it's quirky as well. I like this red faux leather bucket hat. It's cool, it's giving me 90s vibes. We was raised little different. Super bright. Teddy style coat, really nice. I mean, my favourite colour. I don't usually tend to wear a lot of colour in winter and autumn, really. But, I mean, I would still have it because I love it. This jacket, I could see myself wearing at the Christmas markets or at Winter Wonderland or something. Oh, yes. And I really like this green coat as well. I just love, I love green at the moment. I'm just really obsessed with it. I just think it's such a nice colour. I really liked these, what they called like sweater zip ups, I don't know what you call them, <laughs> but they just look really cool. I especially like the beige ones matching with the hat. These are cool to just chuck on top of a t-shirt or something, shackets. £20 though, I don't know why they're £20. I feel like that's kind of pricey, but I mean, they do look really nice, but still expensive. There was this chocolate brown suit, which I thought looked really nice. And this jacket, oh, I think this was one of my favourite things of the whole Primark shop with me. Like, I just thought that, that, is it like a pea green? It's, no, it's probably not pea green. Forest green, I don't know, but I really, really loved that jacket. I might go back for it. Lots of bright colours here. If you're not into more of the muted colours for winter and autumn, they've still got lots of bright colours too. I really like these white chunky boots, nice in the black too, £20. You can't go wrong with Primark gloves. £1 for two pairs of gloves. I mean, that is a bargain, isn't it? 
but with me I feel like I buy a pair of gloves every month from Primark and then I lose them in the winter. <laughs> I saw these hats which I think look really cool. They do make an outfit look very autumnal and wintry and just very cool, don't they? Put together, like, I really like them. I thought I'd try it on. It looked a bit odd on me, but looking back, I think I should have put this at the back of my head rather in the middle of my head because I looked a bit like a cowboy. Uh, random, but I just really loved this model. I just thought she was beautiful and it's so nice that we can see a bit of representation in Primark, you know? Curvy girls, yes. I looked at this and I thought, oh, this girl looks like Cheryl Cole, and it was Cheryl Cole. <laughs> oh, is this not the sweetest hot water bottle you've ever seen? So cute. This would be such a nice little Christmas gift. I might go and buy it myself because oh, I'd love that. Oh, that was such a classic when I was growing up. Loved it. Whenever you're down, out in the cold, faithless and die, your story's untold. Come take my hand into the home section and this throw yes it's giving it's christmas it's festive oh that would look lovely on the sofa they did have some christmas decorations not tons but they did have some some bits and bobs here and there i would love one of these gingerbread men uh in my living room by the tree I just think it looks so festive and cute. I think that these gnomes are a little bit scary, don't you? I think it's because you can't see their eyes, so it just makes me feel a bit creeped out. I don't know. <laughs> This was the first Christmas tree that I had seen since last year, so I felt a little bit emotional looking at it, even though it's not completely decorated, but I was just like, oh my god, it's Christmas. I thought it was going to be really quiet as well because by the time I got into the store it was about, I think it was about quarter to three so I thought it was going to be quite quiet. There were still a lot of people in there, oh my gosh, going to do a Christmas come shop with me in Primark in December in the afternoon or the evening is going to be so hard, like I feel like I need to take off the morning from teaching so that I can get to the store as soon as it opens so there aren't tons of people because it was already really really busy. Oh I love going to Primark, it honestly just cheers me up so much. <laughs> my nan bless her, she rang me uh, just as I got to the car park as I was on my way home and she was like just ring to let you know that there's this really nice pink suit in Primark that I've seen on this morning. <laughs> I was like, thanks, I already saw it. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next one.